This is the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. And it reads, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, And nothing shall by any means hurt you. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world in we cause God, Yahweh. Meaning he exists. Bahashem in the name Yahweh Shai. Who the world even calls Jesus Christ. Yahawashai. Meaning he is the deliverer. He saves. Bahashem in the name. Rakaha Kodash. Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles. And elders of great millstone. Who teach one and rule world. Who taught me this truth. Peace. And salutation to the Akyam. The fellow laborers. The hopeful elect. Pushing this truth. of risk of the own life. Through the four corners of the earth. To talk with him, listen, listen, and learn it in sincerity and the truth and in silence. Shalom. Akiam meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. Alright, we'll get right into it. Alright, and this was at a camp on Saturday. Alright, before we were setting up, before the camera came on, right, there's a demon, but before that, the elders, the elders were going into uh, how at the uh, where 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 they used to teach the previous location. Demons used to come up all the time, right? And they were they were replaying they were they were uh, telling us accounts of how demons used to just roll up, and the minute uh, the minute they said okay, uh, uh, press play, press press record on the camera. This demon jumped out of nowhere, man, from somewhere over here. Just jumped out of nowhere. I started cursing. Right? Right? But the Akim were unmoved. Right? The Akim, the Akim stayed in the spirit, unmoved. Stayed on our square. Right? And in this walk, demons gonna come at you, man. Right? And it's important to remain spiritual at all times. Why? Yahweh Shai gave us the blueprint. Yahweh Shai told us how to deal with demons. Told us that none of them have power over us to hurt us. Luke chapter 10, verse 19, once again. And this is red letter. Our Lord said this. Behold. Behold means look. I give unto you, right, Yahweh Shai is speaking to his disciples. I give unto you power, right, so the Lord is giving his disciples, right, the elect men on this side, power to tread on serpents and scorpions, serpents and, and scorpions, right, wicked, cunning, right, two third Jake. Wicked Edomites, demon demons hop on them. They try to get a carnal reaction out of you. The Lord's giving you power over serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. Right, Esau. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Right, they can't listen. Right? Jacob has next. This place here is temporary, man. All of this is going to pass. All of this is going to fade, melt away. With a great noise. Right? But, uh, she was cursing, man. She, she was, she was wilding out. She was, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll touch just the beginning of the, uh, of the camp video. 
the street. You want to start You're a fucking coward. Oh, I don't sell you? sex. You fucking assholes. You are done. Yeah, You're yeah, a cop. How are we supposed to be Oh, okay. Right, and and nobody was moved. And this is Daniel 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to. Right, and, and, and she, she went on for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, right? Cursing, right? But who sent her to curse? Right, man's goings are of the Lord, right? The Lord sent her to curse. We get that scripture in uh, 2 Samuel. Sixteen. If, if if any of us were moving carnally, right? If you're moving carnally and not in the spirit, you're gonna behave carnally, man. Second Samuel sixteen. What's that scripture? Before I go there, if you, if you if you move carnally. You're going to behave carnally, man. What's that scripture? Argue not with a... Right? Nobody paid her no mind. We threw up curses on her. Right? Shalak rayam wa kal shapachim. Baba kasha, baba kasha, baba kasha. We threw up curses on her. But, uh... We didn't engage. Where's that scripture? I think it's in Proverbs. Salakia. I think it's in the Apocrypha or is it in Proverbs? I think it's in Proverbs. I think it's in uh, Salakia. Bear with me. Where you can't tell the difference. Bear with me. I know it's in Proverbs. Proverbs 26, I think this is it. Proverbs 26, Proverbs 26, Proverbs 26 is 4, answer not a fool according to his folly. Lest thou also be like unto him, right? So you don't even engage with these fools out here, man. You know what I mean? Right? See that in the NLT. Matter of fact, let's see that in the Good News translation. Proverbs 26, verse... Proverbs 26. Proverbs 26, verse 4 in the Good News translation. Right? And it reads, if you answer a silly question, you are just as silly as a person who asks it, right? So, listen, you have Jake, you have Jake come up all the time, ask stupid shit, man, right? 
If it's not, if it's not going to edify, I don't even engage. Likewise, if a demon come up and a, a demon's behaving like the, the, this demon was behaving, don't even, don't even, don't even be moved off of your square, man. Ignore it, dismiss, dismiss it, throw up a curse, and keep it moving, right? Because what did King David do when uh the Benjamite came up to him, cursing? Let's get it. Second Samuel. And one of his mighty men was like, off with his head. Let me chop off his head, my king. And David said, hey, nah, man, relax, bro. The Lord sent him. St stay on your square. Let's get it. Second Samuel 16, verse 5. And it reads, And when King David came to Baharim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. He came forth and cursed still as he came. Right, so this Benjamite, later on shows you that he is a Benjamite, was cursing King David and his mighty men. And he cast stones at David, at all, the, at all the servants of King David, and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. Right, so he was also throwing stones at King David and his court. And thus said Shimei, when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man. And thou man of Bel and thou man of Belial, right? So this 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 Benjamite was cursing King David, throwing rocks, calling him a bloody man, right? What was this demon doing? This demon was telling us fuck off, right? Calling us pieces of shit, right? And none of us has moved. We remain spiritual. Verse 8, the Lord Yahweh hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose steed thou hast reigned. And the Lord Yahweh hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom, thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Right, so this Benjamite was calling King David a bloody man. Today that would be the equivalent of telling a man to go suck himself, right? Ninth verse, then said Abishai, the son of Zerai, unto the king, why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Right. So one of King, da one of king David's mighty men was like, yo, this, 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 this dead dog, right? Lord, why, 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 why is this dead? Let me deal with him, Lord, pretty much, Right. Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. Right? So King David's mighty man was saying, let me chop off his head. The man's disrespecting you, disrespecting you, king. Right? The mighty man wanted to get carnal, wanted to chop off his head, roll it down the road. Right? Second Samuel 16, verse 10. And the king said, this is what King David said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zeruiah? So let him curse. Right, King David is like, yo, let him curse. Because the Lord Yahweh hath said unto him, curse David. Right. The Lord, man's goings are of the Lord. Nothing, happened by, nothing happens by chance. Right. Being in the spirit. Right. If you're in the spirit, you're going to know that everything is of the Lord. Who shall then say, wherefore hast thou done so? Right, whatever the Lord, you can't question the Lord. Right, what's that scripture in uh, that scripture in uh, Lamentation? Lamentation is three. Everything's of the Lord. Lamentation 3 verse 37. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? Right. You can't even say, this is going to go so. If the Lord don't sign off on it, man. All things are of the Lord. Back in uh, 2 Samuel 16 verse 11. And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, 
Behold, my son which came forth of my bowels seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone and let him curse. For the Lord Yahweh hath bidden him. Right. King David was in the spirit. King David said, let him curse, man. The Lord wants it to be. Right. So no matter what. Right. Just like the, just like the Akiam this past Saturday at camp paid this demon no mind and remained spiritual. Right. Gotta remain spiritual. Everything, man. When demons, when demons, when demons try to get a reaction, right? Like even the elder said, she was saying some things, right? Because Satan's angry. Right, right about here. Where is it? Right about here. If you heard what she was saying, a lot of that stuff was very spiritual yep. in terms of what you brothers are doing, what, what, we, what oh. we all are doing. Yeah. Because she started making statements, hey, you guys think you're sealed. You guys don't know what it's like to be sealed. Mm -hmm. Well, really, the sealing comes with the thawa, which is the word. That's We're working for our sealing. That's right. We're gonna and then it, she was saying a lot of things about how, you know, I don't have a penny in my pocket. I didn't work for my penny, but you guys are working for your penny. She was saying a lot of stuff, you yeah, know, yeah, that yeah. penny is this truth, the knowledge, you know, getting into the kingdom, we're all working for that penny. Mm -hmm. So that demon yeah. was a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. You know, she was saying a lot of things in the spirit about what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And that's just Satan being angry. Mm -hmm. I don't know, brother, you should go back and rewind the tape. David, a lot of scripture should be coming to your mind when you when you listen to that demon. Because you know, you demon you know, only means that. intelligence. Yeah, because right? we've, seen, we've seen that movie before. We've seen this movie before, but it was... Khan. So with that, stay prayed up, pray, pray without ceasing. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect.